and I don't know what I'm saying. Blah, 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 blah. Let's just start uh, that. Bloody hell, isn't this one a thing of beauty? This one is a third month, 1984 LX BJ42. So it is the LX. And I'm sure most of the people that watch this know what an LX is. If you don't, it's the choice of all choices when it comes to 40 series. In its day, it had all the options available. You could choose them or you could leave them off. Things like, uh, triple blade wiper motors so sought after there's even guys that um recreate them and make their own versions because they everyone wants a set of triple bladers now this vehicle belongs to mo mo is a queenslander but he found it in um, the middle of new south wales or outback uh, new south wales where it's lived its life and mo does a lot of traveling and he's been looking for years and he's come across it and he's got a bit of the history with this one as well. This one was ordered in Freeborn Red because it went straight to uh, the fire services, the New South Wales Fire Department. Apparently someone uh, high up there owned it, so it's got very minimal Ks. It's got 103,000 Ks, original Ks log booked on the clock. So this one's really, really kept well. It has had, um, paint touch up because you can see some orange peel and it's been well looked after but nonetheless she is in a beautiful original truck the lx it came with these chrome wheels that was um the only 40 series that had that option and this one has got the genuine bar some lights up the front it's very very basic some of these walk arounds when something's so original and um, you can't go into the character of the vehicle so this is just a plain beautiful LX. At the back is where we keep the rear tyre carrier. It's also got the uh, tow bar from the day, the bump stops. Nothing is missing on this thing. It's just been so well kept. I'll pop, I'll quickly pop the bonnet and we'll have a look at the little 3B engine. Look at this. What you're looking at here is the little 3B. It's a very short engine, much bigger shroud uh, to run this uh, engine because it sits so far back compared to your petrol or your H engines. This one, I've got barely anything to waffle about it because it is so stock standard, it's so beautiful from its day. What you see in this engine bay should all be there. Some bits have been replaced, been replaced by us, but it all should be there. What you will notice is this little bad boy here is the power steer pump and reservoir. So the LX, most people know it came with power steer and this one's got it. This one also was an option. You can get this car without a five speed, but this one's got the five speed. You can get this car with or without aircon. This one does not have the aircon, so they've gone for the, the five speed. It's got the power steer. That's basically it. This one came in to Mr. Land Cruiser because Mo's just purchased it. He'd like to know where it's at, what maintenance it needs, and honestly, needs nothing now. We did some swivel hubs, changed the water bottle, did very, minimal so the previous owner has really really loved this vehicle this thing is bloody beautiful it is stunning this is top level in its day this is the family car this has six forward facing seats all in this uh, brown and tan trim that you can only get in an lx everything's brown now the trim it's all brown you can't get this in any other shorty armrests panel covers just to, so you're not looking at bare steel the trims around my head here all for the shorty the brown floor all of this is in immaculate condition now this one has brown carpet in the rear and i actually have no idea does that belong there or not so if you own an lx can you let me know in the comments did they have carpet this it's a really nice it's either um custom made or it's produced for this car original i don't know so leave a comment on that one the dash absolutely unmolested there is not a hole that shouldn't be here this thing has one gauge on it i can see that didn't come out in factory but check this out the factory radio works that doesn't happen too often uh, probably 50 percent of the cars that come in here still have a factory radio none of them usually work so that is really cool mo you've scored yourself a nice one 
absolutely beautiful. I did mention what, uh, when I started this that it has had touch up paint, but we were walking around it and um, we can see all the spot when you look down the angles, right around this whole car, you can see all the spot welds. For those that don't know, you're meant to see the spot welds in a 40 series. Maybe not a modern car or something like a Monaro or something, but these are agricultural. All the spot welds are meant to be in them. So even though it's had a touch up, there is no evidence of any bog in this car at all. Now, and that leads me on to say something that we do here to protect this car. Uh, one of the services that we do and we did, it's just easier if we do it, we get it on the hoist and we put lanolin steel seal through everything, in through the chassis, in through the gaps in the chassis, where no sandblast and no powder curtain, no galvanized chassis, nothing can get in there. So we, um, you just gotta do a lot of maintenance with these cars. If you love them and you wanna use them, it just, maybe you do the oil a couple of times of the year, get under and do the lanolin as well. So we've drenched this one in lanolin while I'm underneath. I'll just say this stands really nice. It's got the old man emu um, suspension set up. It's, uh, and they don't look too old, so it sits really, really nice. Mo's gonna love this. He already owns a, I've checked out his Instagram, he already owns a Land Cruiser, but now he owns a classic Land Cruiser. He's on his way right now to pick up this third month 1984 BJ42 LX.